We're Hey Monday. And you're watching Fuse On Demand. So our name is all about taking something that's kind of viewed as like sweet and innocent and you know, society kind of looks down on and doesn't really have any awesome expectations for and really turning it around and making it it's something that's really powerful and in your face and cool and on fire. It's sort of like about how being like girls and being young, like people don't really expect that we'll, you know, play punk music, but you know, we do and we think that, you know, the name kind of is about that, that yeah. Um, well, you know, I'm not a big fan of the name. I am, however, a big fan of what it is. I mean, there aren't a ton, but you know, there's definitely enough that it made it easier for us to get started. You know, uh, clubs in Brooklyn would open up like all ages days, and um, that would be really, you know, good. Like we could all play during the day, and you know, everybody could come. You know, all of our friends, and that was really, you know, a good way to get us started. But there's a better term out there than kid core. I know there is. <laughs> I know. We just, we just don't know what it is yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. But Fabu. Fabu core. <laughs> Fabulous but unknown. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We'll come up with one. We'll get yeah. back. Well, we actually played the Fillmore that night, which was pretty amazing in San Francisco. And um, that was an awesome show. So it's crazy. That was enough celebration for me. I was like, whoa, walking around in the room with tons and tons of like, yeah, posters there were, like, of bands that have played there. In the awesome. upstairs area, there were just walls filled with posters of bands that have played there. And um, there were several pictures of um, white stripes, and I love them. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of freaked out. Yeah, but, um, it was really awesome yeah, being was, there, like, especially on the night of our album release. Yeah. It was really we were very lucky on this album to be able to collaborate with seriously amazing people. We collaborated with Travis from We The Kings, who is a total doll and so much fun to work with, and um, Adam Schlesinger. And that was amazing because I really love his music, and yeah. that was really, really cool. We also worked on uh, one song with Jill from Lush Jackson. That was really fun. They're all just like really fun to work with and they all really, even if they don't play the exact same music that we do, they really kind of like, you know, figure out how to, you know, use their style, skills. yeah, their style and their skills to, uh, you know, help us and it was really great. And it was amazing to work with people who've been in the music business for like decades and that was really cool to see how they are kind of wrote songs and their thought process. Well, I write a lot of the music, but I used to write even more, you know, like now we, uh, it's a lot of collaboration. Like, on the first album there were a few songs that I wrote on my own, but now. We really try and capture our experience and uh, what's happening in our lives as well as the world and what we observe and kind of try and make that, put that into our songs. Yeah, so I think that's kind of still the same as when we first started. It's just obviously, you know, you think differently when you're in fifth grade than when you're going into ninth grade. But it is kind of scary to see the songs that we wrote in like fifth grade, like everybody else, which is still really rings true, and I think we can all still really relate to the sentiment of that song, even though we wrote it when we were really young. A lot of the time, like, I think one of us will have an idea, and then we'll kind of um, bring, show, it in, yeah, yeah. bring it into like our little inner circle. <laughs> and. Um, it just kind of like blossoms, blossoms from there. And also on tour and being in different places gives us tons of inspiration, just like walking around and being like, wow, that tree, so inspirational. I think it would be a great song.